Welcome to lesson one and thank you for joining me. Before we get started, I just wanted to make you a promise. And that is by doing this course, I'm going to make it my mission to ensure that you walk away with comprehensive experience in five key areas of app design. And to summarize, these are responsive design, implementing logic, working with data, app security, and app performance to enable scale. And of course, how we put all of these things together. We'll cover all of these topics in depth to ensure that you have the confidence to build your own app on conclusion of this course. But to make a start, let's first take a look at the visual elements from a design perspective. So we'll get started with this marketing page, which will have a navigation bar at the top, here a section in the middle, a row of logos, and a footer. You'll be learning about responsive design, element alignment, spacing, and many more things. We'll make sure that these designs are great for tablets and that mobile phone widths, you can see that the design changes and we'll be using breakpoints throughout this course to be able to implement these changes. Next, we'll be signing people up. We'll be using form validation to make sure that we know if a company or a candidate is signing up and that they agree to our terms and conditions. All of these pages will look great across tablet and mobile as well. Of course, we'll need a login page and that login page will also come with a password reset process. So there are three types of users that we're going to be signing up to Workplace. That is a company user, a candidate who is looking for a job type of user, and an admin user, which is you and me. But a company user will have a dashboard that allows them to create and manage job posts, view and manage candidates, bookmark candidates, and download their resumes. We'll also have a settings section where a user can input their personal details as well as their company details. Then we'll be signing up candidates or job seekers, and they'll be able to set the personal details, their work preferences, as well as manage their applications. You can see that we have a status field, which is updated by a company type user. Once they decide if the candidate has been accepted, is still pending or declined. Our browse jobs page is beautifully designed where users will be able to search for a job and combine that search with the various filters, such as is it full-time, part-time, which city is it in. The candidates will also be able to bookmark these jobs. And because this is a real key page to the success of Workplace, we'll make sure that it looks fantastic on tablet and mobile phone. Once the user clicks one of these jobs, they'll be taken to a job page where they can see more details about the job as well as apply to the job by uploading their resume. Of course, as the admins, we need our own dashboard and we'll be able to summarize monthly revenue, how many signups we've had and how many monthly jobs have been posted. We'll also have a chart that will represent this data for us. Of course, as the app admins, we need to be able to manage our users and manage our jobs. So as you can see, there is a lot to cover over the coming weeks. So let's make a start. I'll see you in the next lesson.